Okay, good afternoon. Uh, today we will continue our Songho product topic uh, on beverages product. I think Lu Chun Ling Zi Ti. Songho company carry uh, two beverages product, namely CEO Cafe and Lu Chun Ling Zi Ti. I think CEO Cafe come on to the market nine years ago. Uh, Lu Chun Ling Zi Ti actually already with us, I think close to 30 years. And uh, Lu Chun Ling Zi Ti has been a likable product by a lot of people, a lot of customer. Mainly, it is a uh, very conveniently brewed beverages with a lot of health giving benefits. And um, now uh, we are near to Chinese New Year, so it's a very good tea. Huh? If we go with Bak Kwa, la, huh? we will start to take oily food. Huh? So I always tell people, New New Year come, so you want to you want to do a gift. Uh, don't just buy the uh, uh, roasted pork bak kwa. Uh, if you buy one kg, you need buy half a kg. Then uh, send together with another pack of Lu Chun tea or even uh, the CEO cafe. So I think it's a very good form of gift. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start with a uh, history of tea. So in the Senong medical book, Senong Pen Chao Jing. Uh, Tea was started uh, to neutralize toxin. Uh, there is a word saying in Chinese in this Senong Pen Chao Jing saying that Senong Chang Bai Chao Zi Yi Qi Shi Er Du De Cha Er Jie Zi. It means that the Senong, who is the uh, author of this medical ancient medical book, he actually had to test test all the toxin stuff. So and uh, normally he used a tea to neutralize the toxin. So since ancient time, tea is recognized as a health beverages where it has the medical effect. I think that's what uh, people talk about since ancient time. So today I want to talk about Oolong tea. Okay, uh, why I talk about Oolong tea is because actually uh, in, in, the, in the product that we are going to talk later, is the base of the tea is Oolong tea. And Oolong tea is a very common tea. Oolong tea is a traditional Chinese tea. It made from leaf of the Camellia sinensis plant. The same plant used to make green tea and black tea. I'm, I'm very sure that you all heard about green tea or even black tea or Oolong tea. These three types of tea all come from the same tea tree. Okay, They are same. It's the difference is how the tea being processed. And uh, all the tea leaves contain certain enzymes which produce a chemical reaction called oxidation. And this oxidation is what turns the green tea leaf into a deep black color. So obviously, uh, a lot of people like to drink green tea. Green tea is not allowed to oxidize much. It means that it's just, it still goes through oxidization, but it's the very short, the very short duration. The black tea is another extreme allowed to oxidize until it turns black. So Oolong tea is somewhere in between the two, the green and the black. So it's in between called Oolong tea. So in case you don't know, Oolong tea, green tea, black tea all come from same type of tea leaf. It's only the process that make the different tea. And uh, this partial oxidation is responsible for Oolong tea color and characteristic taste. Okay, I want to share with you eight, ben eight ben health benefits of Oolong tea. Um, extracted from uh, healthline.com and uh, sometimes I like to use literature from healthline.com because all the information inside is always supported with the research paper. Okay, number one, um, health benefit of Oolong tea, it, con it contains nutrients. Uh, for example, it contains many vitamins and minerals, fluoride, magnesium, potassium, sodium, magnesium, Nicin, caffeine, and beside all the vitamin and mineral, you also contain antioxidants. And uh, the antioxidant in oolong tea is polyphenols. Polyphenols is actually uh, a lot of, of this is famous. The most famous one is EGCG. I think uh, I don't, you, I mean, you might not have might not have heard about this. This is actually a lot of talking, a lot of paper, document, this uh, type of uh, polyphenols. 
actually having a lot of health benefit, EGCG. Okay, Unong tea also contain TNI, Cha Jian, which is an amino acid responsible for tea resting effects. So you drink the tea, you feel that hey, it can help me to relax down because of this uh, TNI. Okay, Unong tea uh, have a property of prevent diabetics, they us understand. Number two health benefits of Unong tea is prevent diabetes. The polyphenol antioxidant may help maintain normal blood sugar level, decrease the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Uh, some studies, uh, people who drink 720 ml of Unong tea per day have a 16% lower risk of developing type 2 diabetic. People who drink 1.5 liter, 30% lower blood sugar level at the end of 30 day study. Okay. Uh, however, uh, the evidence is mixed. I think, but uh, that's actually Chinese have drink a lot of uh, Chinese tea, including Unong tea, for health benefit. One of them is prevent diabetics. And as per today, I think we also know that uh, people are encouraged to drink tea for diabetic patient. Okay, improve heart health. I think we have talked about this in the previous topic. So, um, Unong tea also help decrease the risk of heart disease, stroke, and high blood pressure in some people. In one of the very massive study on 76,000 of Japanese adults, observed that who drank 240 ml of tea per day had a 61% lower heart disease risk. Japanese also a country of people who like to drink tea. And uh, regular, regularly consuming of 120 ml of green or unong tea per day may reduce your risk of developing high blood pressure by up to 46%. But just be cautious that tea contains caffeine, it might raise the blood pressure slightly. I think as what I explained on the last topic on the when we talk about the CEO cafe. But this effect tend to fade it if you consume it regularly, it's not be a problem. Okay, the, the fourth one, uh, it might be likable for a lot of people, help you to lose weight, okay? The combination of caffeine and polyphenols found in Unong tea may help increase the amount of calorie and fat burn each day. This could ultimately help speed up weight loss. Okay, so it increased the amount of calorie burn by about 4.8%. This is only possible with a combination of polyphenol and uh, caffeine. So you will drink coffee alone, sorry, no this effect. You must drink coffee and tea, because coffee don't have polyphenols. So it means that you have to drink CEO coffee and you have to drink the Lotun tea, okay? So morning I'll, I'll drink the coffee, then afternoon I'll drink the tea. So two together, you have a better effect of burning your body fat, okay? Of course, some participants in the research respond better. Uh, the effect might be vary from person to person. Okay, number five, improve brain function. Okay, the caffeine, antioxidant, and TNI, the amino acid I mentioned just now, content of the tea have a beneficial effect on brain function and mood. So some study of tea include tea contain both caffeine and TNI increases alertness and attention within the first one to two hours after consumption. Okay, uh, as mentioned just now, uh, tea polyphenol also thought to have a calming effect beside the TNI, uh, especially starting two hours after intake. So, and um, this kind of effect is strong, especially for black and unong tea, maybe lesser for green tea. So the improved brain function is good that unong and black tea will have a more effect. Because I think mainly because uh, uh, it have a better antioxidant and, and also TNI content. Okay, protect against certain cancer. Just for information, there are a lot of research on green tea on cancer. I think maybe green tea become more and more popular even for youngster. Uh, I think that's why a lot of research being done. 
but similar to green and black tea, oolong tea may have protective effect against cancer, but they came from the same tea leaf. Some study of a tea include tea polyphenol might also decrease the rate of cancer cell division, so have a protective effect for lung, esophageal, pancreatic, liver, and colorectal cancer. Um, the, actually, I, I didn't put it down here. It do have effect on certain type of cancer. I think I remember it do have effect on cervical cancer. Okay, not saying that this tea will have protection against all cancer, only certain cancer. So as mentioned, Uno tea form midway between green and black tea, so similar effects should be expected. Okay, but we are waiting for more research on Uno tea on cancer. Okay, number seven, promote tooth and bone strength. This one might be new to quite a lot of people. Okay. Unong tea may help increase bone mineral density and also strengthen tooth animal, animal and reduce the formation of dental plaque. So in the research done on the Chinese on this uh, 680 post menopausal Chinese woman found that who drank regular have 4.5 to 4.9% higher bone density than non-tea non drinker. You might say the percentage is not high. But it's good that if you drink this tea every day, at least you have some of those no disadvantage. And remember, a higher bone mineral density could lower the risk of fractured. Unong tea also rich in the mineral fluoride. I think everybody know that fluoride actually is good for our tooth. I think that's the research talk about. The last one I'm going to mention about the health benefit of unong tea. The antioxidant in oolong tea may help reduce symptoms of eczema. I think this is also new to a lot of people. And uh, surprisingly, in this research, they say the improvement may last for a long time. So, 118 patients with severe case of eczema drink 1 liter of oolong tea per day in addition to their normal treatment even go together. Eczema symptoms improve as early as 1 to 2 weeks into study. After a month of the combined treatment, 63% of patients still show improvement. And this improved persistence still observed in 54% of the patient five months later. So if you recall all the eight health benefits of Wunong tea that actually in our Luchun tea, I think it's good to encourage more people to drink our tea. Okay, but uh, let's talk about safety aspect of Okay, um, it's a tea product, just like coffee product, they have a negative aspect of the product, mainly because of the amount of caffeine. Oolong tea has been consumed for centuries and is generally considered to be safe. I think this for sure, Chinese have been consumed for thousand, more than two, two three thousand years, okay, and even the Western people, so it's very safe. When caffeine consumes excess, it can lead to anxiety, headache, insomnia, irregular heartbeat, and in some high blood pressure. So the key question is, it, can, it contain caffeine. So that is the thing. So pregnant women who are advised to stick to a maximum of 200 mg of caffeine, which is about 3 to 5 cups of unong tea per day. That's why in the uh, Luchun tea packaging, I think uh, it appeared on the Malaysia Luchun tea packaging. Uh -huh. You always say that, uh, pregnant women have to consume this beverageal product uh, uh, cautiously. So, bottom line, don't consume more than 3 to 5 cups of Wunong tea per day. So, conclusion, drinking up to 10 cups of Wunong tea per day is generally considered to be safe for most of people. Compared to coffee, I think we said 3 cups, but Wunong tea, you can even take more. Because the, the, the caffeine content in the tea is generally uh, lesser compared in the coffee. Okay, let me introduce the product, uh, tea, the health giving tea to preserve wellness and reduce stress. Okay, as I mentioned, I like the packaging a lot. Uh, when the moment I see this Luchun tea, it seems that New Year is coming, okay? Function and benefits. Okay, this Luchun uh, tea contains two ingredients. Number one, semen cassia. Uh, Jiaming in Chinese, 
which means it's very good because it's expelled pathogenic heat. In Chinese, we always say that our body has certain heat, uh, so you have to uh, reduce the heat. Okay, uh, so actually, how to reduce heat? In is actually you have to pee more lah, huh? <laughs> more urination, and Jie Mingzi or Samuel Kaxian has been able to enhance visual function. In the Chinese word Jie Mingzi, actually very good for eyesight. Moist moisten the GI tract and smoothen bowel movement. Okay, number two, Gadostema pentaphyllum, Qi Ye Dan. Gadostema pentaphyllum is actually a, is a very good plant that have a health benefits. Songho company used to have a Qi Ye Dan Cha, Gadostema pentaphyllum, many many years back. Just the, and it tastes very good. And a lot of people like it, especially who are cough. So next time, last time this product called Chi Ye Tan by itself. Um, I think a lot of people still remember. And I remember in Myanmar, they always tell me that the red tea and orange tea. Red tea is Luchun tea, orange tea is the Galas Dema. So actually Chi Ye Tan person or Chi Ye Tan itself is actually remove frame, moisten the lung, elevate cough. So people who cough, they actually tea this component of the lotion tea will help and calm down our nervous system, easing stress and smooth out the emotional swing. So I always tell um customer, if your uh, if your spouse uh, for example your husband uh, always go you uh, always got bad mood uh, buy a lotion tea for your husband. So I talk to the husband and say. If your wife are very nagging, uh, every day nag at you, uh, or a lot of emotional swing, uh, buy a lotion tea for her. So in either way, you have sales, whether for the husband or for the wife, that's a sales talk. Okay, Unong tea, I mentioned a lot um, uh, on the previous, on the, on the slide just now. Uh, it's very good to subdue the lipids and actually this is very good to protect your heart vessel and protect your heart. Of course, Gardodema, I think we talk about a lot of benefit of Gardodema. It contains both polysexual and chapter pinoid. It's uh, added with health giving benefits. And uh, why Luchun tea uh, is a very good smooth taste. Rest assured, even uh, people who don't like to drink Chinese tea, they like this tea. For example, one of my brother who don't like to drink Chinese tea, only drink Amote. Amote means that uh, bow tea or, or the the tea that uh, drink by Western people, but this tea still can accept multiple health function and a very quality packaging. Tea bag is so using top grade cotton and come with a suspension thread. Uh, sometimes other tea bag you can find there's a stapler, and remember you soak the stapler in the tea for long. What will happen? So we don't have this. It might be a minor thing you don't observe, but you can go and open your lotion tea if you have one and compare with other lotion, uh, other tea bag. Who should consume? Chinese New Year coming, eh? I like this picture. For people who like to promote physical well being, holistic wellness, and longevity with all the benefit of Unong tea and all the ingredients in the tea, foster friendship, give for festival season, okay? So, Chinese New Year, we tend to eat a lot of oily food, so this is one of the tea. Mid-autumn festival, people would eat the moon cake, huh? it's good to go with the tea. Okay, so it's a good form of gift. Okay, uh, nurture the mind, okay. So as mentioned earlier, uh, there are a lot of benefits, mental retreat and self-cultivation of drinking tea. Okay, recommended consumption. Drink one to tea bag daily, uh, because we still don't want to intake a lot of all this caffeine. But one to tea bag is definitely very safe. Pour boiling water over tea bag to brew for three to five minutes and shake the tea bag gently. Okay, and um, if you don't like the taste of the unong tea aroma, a lot of people like it, but some people say he don't want the a uh, very um strong aroma of Unong tea and he don't like the 
he do not have a lot of caffeine. So the way to do is you just soak three to five minutes. Then you remove the tea bag. Because in this making of the Luchun tea, the base Unong tea, then we will actually uh, spray the uh, cassia, the uh, all the ingredients, pentafilum, and all the lingzi on the tea, Unong tea. So when you soak the tea bag inside, the first thing they come up with all the all the ingredient first then with the unong tea contain so if you don't want to take unong tea then you remove the tea bag after three to five minutes to a separate cup well somebody want the strong tea then you can just boil the tea put in the tea and boil it then it will give you even sweet aroma and an even nice color okay so left hand side is the one that you can brew longer and the right hand side this is a tea I make that day uh, for my friend who come over to my house. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So uh, uh, now quarantine, uh, only allowed five guests by myself, all, to, all together six person. Okay. So six Dochun tea. Okay. So this is how you can make your tea. Okay. In summary, why uh, of the benefit of this Luchun tea well eliminate free rare liquor it's a health giving um, beverages generous and decent gift to give away uh, cleanse or oiliness in the food encourage good appetite okay and uh, actually melt away stress and fatigue okay so in conclusion it's a very good choice of beverages multifunctional to the body and uh, it's a good choice for health conscious and appreciate the original great taste people. So I think um, that's all for my topic.